Hi, my name is Dr. Bill Farrell. I'm a member of the Parkview Orthopedic Group. I've been in practice in orthopedics with this group since 1985. My interest in uh, orthopedics is primarily joint replacement surgery, namely hip and knee joint replacement surgery. I also have an interest in shoulder replacement as well. And uh, most of my practice, however, is limited to the lower extremities. Uh, that's not to say that I don't do general orthopedics. Uh, I do and uh, take care of a lot of uh, fracture uh, patients, uh, fractured injured extremities as well. The disease known as osteoarthritis is unfortunately you know, very commonplace nowadays in our profession. It seems as though... Uh, we all know somebody that has uh, had either a hip or a knee replacement. Uh, our population is aging. We're living well into the 90s and, and probably beyond in future years. So the amount of patients that are around that have disease in their hips and in the knees, the weight-bearing joints, is just absolutely incredible. Um, so if you were a patient that came into the office, certainly we would take a history. We would examine you. X-rays would clearly be appropriate, and if you were not a candidate for replacement surgery, then uh, various conservative options such as medication, physiotherapy, modification of some of your activities, perhaps exercise, would be an appropriate uh, treatment recommendation short of an operation. Uh, oftentimes, patients with uh, extreme osteoarthritis uh, or wear and tear arthritis of the joints pretty much know when they come to the doctor's office, either referred by their primary care physician or uh, a rheumatologist, for example, or even a family member that has had a surgery generally knows uh, when the time is right for replacement surgery. But always, uh, initially, conservative options are certainly available and and should be entertained if uh, one has not tried them. Oftentimes, however, patients have come in with um, treatment options that have included those conservative um, recommendations and have not really responded well. So therefore, replacing arthroplasty may be the only solution, but oftentimes is the best solution for long-term uh, care and treatment to the diseased hip or knee. Generally, an operation uh, such as hip or knee replacement takes about an hour to an hour and a half to perform. The length of stay is generally about three days in the hospital. Arrangements are then made for home physical therapy, home nursing, home bending machines if it's a knee surgery, for example, and then arrangements to be seen back in the office. And, and I always tell patients it's about uh, a lifestyle, and it's about a lifestyle that you're not able to maintain. And if your lifestyle has been severely affected because of your arthritic disease, then it's time to consider having it fixed or certainly uh, certainly considered to um, undergo an operation which oftentimes may seem aggressive but for the most part in the big picture will likely reestablish your lifestyle and your activities of daily living and such that you'd be able to resume normal activities at least to a reasonable degree. Certainly that doesn't mean that all operations are foolproof or without risk. They are with risk, but for the most part nowadays our risk is minimized and limited to the point where it can be uh, a controlled risk. And, and never do we want to operate on somebody if they're not cleared by their primary care physician because we don't uh, want you to have a problem any more than you want to have a problem. So uh, in a nutshell, I enjoy this. I think this surgery is very rewarding. Most patients are happy. Most patients are happy that they did that. But uh, first and foremost, it's a matter of establishing the diagnosis and then knowing what appropriate treatment recommendations would be best for, uh, for you and your particular problem.